Hello and welcome to Imposters Twitch. Today we're going to be playing some Borderlands 2. If you're checking this out on YouTube, you can follow me live on Twitch. The description will be down below. Today we're on part 3 of trying to get the last Steam achievement on my list for uh, Pain Bow, which is you need to have, I think, all effervescent items equipped in your inventory. So I got a couple of them. We're going to keep moving on today and try to get the rest of them. And if we don't finish it today, then we'll make a part four. So I hope you enjoy what you see, and let's get right on onto it. Here we go. Alright, so one of the items comes from these sandworms. I was farming them yesterday and never got them, so I'm just going to keep on going in here and farming them a little bit. I apologize in advance that doing this achievement is not the greatest thing to watch, I think. Uh, we'll just keep on keeping on. Sometimes getting achievements isn't the most fun thing that you can do. Achievement is called Rainbow. And so far, I have not seen what I needed from these guys, so we gotta go on to the next area. We don't wanna pick up the trophy because picking up the trophy will ruin the attempt at getting the item that I'm looking for. But it's up with the aim on this gun, it's horrible. We don't want to pick the, this item up. It's a bunch of reloading. I saw your message earlier, Hana, but I was sleeping at the time. And uh, also, I think... I have the game installed, I think. But, uh, I really want to get this Steam achievement done. <laughs> That's a fun game, though. Deep Rock Galactic is fun. There he is. Do I have to shoot these things to wake them up? Nope, I don't think I got it. I'm afraid to walk too close to that thing because it'll get sucked in and I don't want to pick it up. Yeah, you played it a little bit? What'd you think? You like it? played it yet it's good I played it for a while by myself I was playing it solo for a while and playing with like pickup groups and I was digging it for a while there I needed more friends though because playing with the pickup group people they all kind of just run off and start like doing their own thing and it's hard to understand like what they're doing and what's going on it's easier when you have a bunch of friends playing together and you're just like 
you can go at your own pace, you know, instead of trying to follow everybody. I gotta restart. I didn't find my item here. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? Hang on a moment. My television is. Woo! Let's stop this. There we go. Any mean ghost? Ghost turned on my television? Yeah, no. I was having Wi Fi issues also earlier. We had to reset. I had to shut the power down in the house because I'm in. We're have, I'm installing a new uh, water heater in the house. And uh, I had to turn off the circuit breaker. But when we turned it back on, the Wi Fi wasn't working correctly. I had to restart my Wi-Fi a couple of times to get it working properly and then while I was at it I might as well update the firmware on the Wi-Fi router make sure it's up to date with security and all that. You should all be running. That's what you get. Critical. anything mm. oh. mm. nope doesn't look like it's here you could tell what I'm looking for because it has like a specific looking color I'll, I'll try to show it since I'm carrying one of the items this is one of the items here so it's got like this rainbow looking color going on here and when it's on the ground it looks like that so that's what i'm looking for and it's got a drop from those sandworms i'm looking for an item called the toothpick so let's keep on keeping on And only those sandworms drop it, which is a pain in the neck. This achievement is probably one of the hardest ones, I think, that I've had to get in this game. Because having to farm creatures for items is never fun. Not in my opinion. I think that's one of the lamer ways to get items. But it is what it is. And it's the last one, so it might as well be as difficult as possible, right? think it's here. I do not think it's here. I have to restart again. Gosh dang it. I was doing this yesterday too. Ay, ay, ay. There are other places that these sandworms spawn also, but not as frequent as like getting the constant spawning that you get here. I wish there were more of them. See it over there. Oh, that might be it. Uh. 
Well, that was messy. Maybe that's it. I hope that's it. Interesting reaction. See if this is it. Yes! Alright. Got the toothpick. Now I could actually finish this quest too. Alright, so we got toothpick. Let's uh let's swap it out with one of these weapons, shall we? Even though it's a lower level weapon. Uh we'll swap it out with this. See how it works. What does it say it does here? Low damage. It's low. Burst fire while zoomed. Consumes six ammo per shot. Highly effective. Effective versus flesh. The cool part is that it just looks cool. Oh, it's got this cool color. Let's see how it. Oh, okay. All right. The accuracy is garbage. It's doo doo. But, uh, hey. All right, so let me do some internet research here. Do, 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 do. We'll go here, go here, pull this tab, bring it over here. Um, let's see where the other items come from. So I have a bunch of them now. I got the sandworm one. We got toothpick. We got retainer. We got mouthwash. We're good with that. We got hard carry. We got easy mode. And I think I have peak opener. Let's see. Do I have peak opener? Where are the rest of these weapons? So here's uh, one here. This is hard carry. Got retainer. I'm wearing one, right? So here's peak opener, easy mode, mouthwash. So I don't need any of those. I got one, two, three. So I need a grenade mod. Let's see where we can find that. Effervescent. All right, there's a. Uh, Sniper rifle, two SMGs, a rocket launcher. I have the rocket launcher, or one of the rocket launchers. All right, so we're going to try to see if we could get the grenades. Those are hard to get. So there's Cassius and Uranus. I can try for that. Let's do that. That might be everything, hopefully. We'll see. So let's let's finish this quest because we don't need it anymore. Grab this. And then we'll go and do that. <laughs> now there's a bunch of them that spawn in here. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. Get out of here.
You know how long I was farming for that thing yesterday? Today I got it not so difficult. It only took like three or four retries. Lucky day, yeah, right? It literally is. Alright, here we go. We'll go return this to that guy. Crimson Vault Hunter and everything, but I'm gonna start a new bandit clan, and I could use a few good murder captains. <laughs> this does not seem to be working out. I mean, why can't all my recruits be as strong and impervious to fall damage as you are? I wonder what I'm doing wrong. Is it me? I think it's me. You know what? Give me some time to think this through. Yes, he is. That's where you first meet him. Borderlands 2 and the download content for uh, the Fight for Sanctuary, which is basically the last DLC that they put out for Borderlands 2, which kind of like leads you right into Borderlands 3 and the pre sequel. And that, uh, that other, yeah, Tales from the Borderlands. Yep. But you get his backstory, you know, and being a bandit originally and all that. Uh, I have not played Tales from the Borderlands, though, yet. I haven't played Borderlands 3 yet. I've played Borderlands, beat that. Borderlands 2, beat this, obviously. Uh, Borderlands 3, I have not played Borderlands pre-sequel, beat that. I have not played Tales from the Borderland yet. I have not played Borderlands 3 yet, and I cannot wait for Tiny Tina's Wonderland to come out, because hell yeah, I'm going to be playing that. <laughs> when that comes out, I, I don't care how much it costs, I'm buying that. Borderlands 3, I heard, is, uh, eh. So, I'll wait for that to go on sale. But Tina's Wonderland looks freaking fantastic. I cannot wait to get that. I don't care how much it costs. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. Uh, whatchamacallit. Pre-purchase. <laughs> I don't care. I'll get the most expensive package too. I want that game. I think it's going to be awesome. Alright, so what do we got here? We gotta kill the... We wanna go... Actually, we wanna do this other thing. So, where is that guy? And here, I believe, is the place I want to go. Yeah. I gotta fight two bosses. thing is that after I get this achievement, if I play with friends and I want to give this achievement to them, I could just give them the weapons and go, there you go. <laughs> and it's easy for them. They don't have to go through all of this. <laughs> so 
about you back there. Come on out. Bedtime! There's a quest in here that I didn't see? Where the heck is it? Where the heck is this quest? <laughs> oh, I gotta follow this around, I think, to get to it. Did that hurt me? No, good. Stop! Uh-oh. I think... Oh. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, it broke. It didn't. It just lagged out hard. Right, where is the way out? This way? Back, you bastard. Enough. That was awesome. My training's paying off. All right. Go down. Uh, this way. This way. This way. Uh, I hear it. Hey, hundred badass ring. Another thing. Cannot stop me. Kill everything. Hold it. Where is this thing at? I guess I just gotta keep going. Just keep going. Let's just keep going. 
so it goes. Gotcha. I love my powers. You should all be running. There's all kinds of stuff I'm missing from this map because I've just been running through it. Like these, but these echo a boxes. Of a most gaseous variety. While observing the miners, one expelled an indomitable vapor. Ooh, how it reeked! But as I gagged and gasped, I realized that this unsolicited fart is my path forward. I will develop a gas to spur Pandora's indigenous spores into a period of accelerated growth. Now, the question becomes how to ensure this gas cannot affect humans. That's why I have to fight. He's one of the bosses. And that drops one of the pearl effervescent weapons. I keep wanting to say pearlescent because that's another kind of weapon that you get in another DLC of this game. Oh, did I go down there? Well, I got no choice now. There he is. Alright, so this is one of the bosses. He's gonna kill himself. Be careful! Well, I am losing control! Oh, well Hector! Come on. Is this it? Come on. No, that's one of the I'll just pick that up because. He did not drop what I needed him to drop. So now I gotta restart this fight. But first I wanna see what is where is this thing here? Is it here? Where is this quest? It looks like it should be right here. Missing it? What is going on? Oh, this right here. Drat. The espresso machine is broken again. That's the fifth time this week. Uh, no matter. Despite no, my inability to create a gas safe for humans, I'm certain another breakthrough is around the corner. I will make Pandora a paradise. And afterwards, other uh, people will say, Cassius, why he did it? What a man! He made Pandora a paradise! Is that dashing bespectacled scientist single? <laughs> Perhaps then there will not only be spores in the air, but love. Oh, wait. Here's a, here's a legendary grenade. No, this is not Atlas Base. This is uh, the Burrows. Not Atlas Base. All right, now I gotta restart so I can kill him again. Till he drops what I need. We'll run through it faster now, though. Huh? Wait, what did it do? Well, it's not gonna let me in there now? What the hell? Alright, what does this do? Just go here. Right. No, this isn't it. This. This is where I need to go. Oh. 
All right, let's just run this time, because I want to get back to him as quick as possible. We're not going to stand around and fight a bunch of mobs. We're just going to run through them all. find that exclamation point somewhere. Drop it. Oh, well, I am OP8, so and this weapon does how much damage? 269,000 in one shot. So, yeah. And that's before all the bonuses and everything, so. drop what I want. That means I gotta run back again. Son of a gun. Alright. Continue. Put me in the right spot this time. Ah, oh, makes me run, man. Making me run. Alright. Do it again. Really, really familiar with this route. What is this? Marvelous news! While foraging in an abandoned facility, I came across some old door miners. How many times did I run past that thing and not see it? When I explained I was a scientist, their leader. <laughs> this will hurt. Ah! Ah! You're done. Shut up! <laughs> Apparently, they survived a mining accident oh, of some kind. Here we go! Blood that!
gaseous variety. While observing the miners, one expelled an indomitable vapor. Ooh, how it reeked. But as I can't oh, no. gasp, what can I realize that this unsolicited fart <laughs> is my path forward. I will develop a gas to spur Pandora's indigenous spores into a period of accelerated growth. He's got to drop a grenade. Uh, the question becomes how to ensure this gas cannot affect humans. I see a bunch of legendaries. There's a legendary grenade. That is not what I need. I need... A, hey, go away. I need... A rainbow grenade. So, I think we are... Done here. Right? Yes, I do. Actually, no, I don't. I used to, but now I don't because now you can go to OP10. So technically, no. I have like six characters that are all OP8. But now you can go up to OP10 since I think, I don't know how long ago since I wasn't able to play this game. But we'll be working on that too in the future. <laughs> The sad part is that because they're all so maxed out, even when I start a new character at, at like level nothing, start like from the beginning of the game, that character is still overpowered because of all the badass challenges that I completed in the past. So like they, like a brand new character starts off with like plus 180% and everything. I played this game so much. Stay put. Silence. So it goes. Calm down. That was interesting. Yeah, they're not gonna hurt me. Training's paying off. I completed so many badass challenges. I love my powers. My characters are just way too overpowered for this game now. Even if I start at level nothing. Pretty cool. Overpowered, way overpowered. Like I still can go bosses with like a level nothing character and like a couple of shots. Even the raid bosses die like nothing. Unless I put it on ultimate vault hunter mode and then I play at my level. Right now I'm not playing at my level so... If I put it at my level then these guys, they take a few more shots but a little harder to kill. glowy things. I see a legendary over there. Another pandemic legendary grenade. But no effervescent weapon. No 
Oh, effervescent. That stinks. I didn't even drop that many legendaries either. Well, at least this is going by a little faster. This run, I hope so. Holy moly. I mean, there's a whole lot of things you could do that I could do in this <laughs> section. That was awesome! Yeah. Just give up! Stay still. That was interesting. I don't even let him talk. <clears throat> Come on. That is beautiful. Nice. Mm, nope. Not this run, it looks like. I don't see no glowies. Nope, no glowies. Dang you, did you drop it already? Seriously, right? Come on. Just drop it already. The chances of these items to drop are so low. It's ugh, such a pain. Like, why wouldn't they give you a few more? To, I think you get more of them if you play with more players. Like you have a higher chance. And you're all fighting over it. Quiet. <laughs> this is one of those games Shut where everything drops. Everything Enough. that drops, everyone can see. So. Stop. Ah. Extra pain. Take that long. Yeah. The good thing is that, like, a lot of the weapons are really cool in this game, but some of them are better for certain players than others. Stay put. That was awesome. Even if like something really like rare drops, it, it might benefit another player more. Bye now. Depending on their class. 
But when you play by yourself, everything's good. You are powerless. If you notice, I'm only getting like one XP for everything that I kill, if that. Oh no! What's happening now? Nine XP for killing him. <laughs> and that tentacle thing didn't give me anything, as far as I could tell. Nice. And Borderlands 3 though has a different thing where you get your own loot, but it's the same rarity. So if someone got a legendary, everybody got one. Oh, I see. I mean, I don't know. I, I can't remember because it's been a while since I played this, you know. I don't remember what it's like when you play with other players, if everybody can see it or not. I think everybody can see it. That is beautiful. Because wow. I remember people sharing weapons and whatnot when I used to play with like pickup groups. So people would just like find weapons and then like share them with other people. And then there was the uh, the glitch where you could do uh, dupe glitching. And you could just duplicate all kinds of stuff and drop them for people. So people would help others out with like achievements, like to have like all legendary items. So people would like spawn their legendaries, duplicate them, give them to other people, and then everybody could get the achievement done. This is frustrating. This guy better drop the stupid grenade. It does say in the wiki for this item though that it's uh, the grenades are harder to get from the bosses. Like they have a lower chance of spawning. Gotta mine it. Um, so when you play that game, like certain maps, so it'll tell you what the chances of uh, certain minerals are when you're looking at the map that you're going to play on. So some minerals spawn, like some minerals won't spawn at all in certain maps. So you have to find the map where it spawns in. And then when you're there, it might have a certain chance, like, you have to, like, look for it. Like, it might be, like, a vein kind of thing. 
I don't know how to explain it. You just like, you find like these like chunks hidden inside the terrain that you can, that you can get. And then other times it'll be like a vein that you can mine. But I think gold is pretty like normal. Like it's a normal type of thing to find. It's not rare. And I don't see it again. So I don't think we got it again. Gosh dang, man. They really made this hard. Rawr. You could send your bot to go mine it. You only get the bot if you're playing single player though. You don't get it if you're playing a multiplayer to get the gold. out on Iridium. Still didn't drop it. Son of a gun, man. This guy is a pain. Run it, run it. Portal land. 
Dance to Run Simulator. Almost there. There he is. Oh no! What's happening now? Sacrifice. There's a rainbow thing, but it's not what I need. Technical spectacle. All right, any other glowy items? didn't even drop a legendary. Jeez, what a pain. Hoo-wee. Come on, buddy. Come on. Cameras are at. Is there one in here? Oh, there's a vault symbol. I was looking for the one of those. At least I found one. Another vault symbol. Fantastic. Well. I knew there was a vault symbol around there somewhere. badass by now. I don't use them anymore because it just makes the game too easy. It's already too easy. If I would have known back then, I wouldn't have put them in to begin with. Kept it challenging.
I should let you reset it instead of like making it so that once they're in it's permanent. Another lobbing grenade, yeah. Ah, uh, come on, any glowy rainbow items? No, not that I can see. What a pain. All right. Sometimes the gold is inside the terrain, like I was saying before. You have to dig it out and it comes out in a giant chunk. You could tell that it's behind there because it'll glow a little bit behind the wall. You'll see like a slight glow coming from the wall. gotta dig in that area and as you get closer to it it gets brighter and brighter until you dig it out Here we go, here we go. No. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! I'm full. Hang on a second, I gotta get rid of something. <laughs> what am I getting rid of? Uh, I could get rid of this. Does that give me a spot? Yes, it does. All right, now we got the grenade. And we'll swap out this grenade with this. Okay. All right, I got the grenade. Yay, we can move on. What else do I need? I need, not that, I need SMG, a sniper. An SMG and a sniper. And that's it. Two more things to go, I think, and that'll be it. So let's see the, the guide real quick. An 
SMG and a sniper. Who has an SMG and a sniper? Or I could get a shotgun too. Uh, we'll go for SMG. Who's got that? New Pandora soldiers. Where are they at? Or infected badass saplings. Oh. All right, so two more things, right? An SMG sniper, Lieutenant Hoffman. I don't think we could do Lieutenant Hoffman anymore. Oh, but you know what? I have a quest that will give me the weapon, a sniper rifle, right? That I believe is, whatchamacallit, an effervescent. Let me see, can I do Lieutenant, let's see, how do you do Lieutenant Hoffman? Oh, that's a make, a gun for Mordecai, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's one that I could do. Okay, I could do this one. I'm already on that quest right now. So I gotta go kill this Lieutenant Tetra. And I'll get an effervescent sniper rifle. Where is this thing at? Like, seriously, where is it at? I can't see it. Should be like right here somewhere. Showing a machine. Anyway, we'll keep on. This way. Kill Lieutenant Tetra. I wonder what that grenade looks like. We should try it out. You know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You stop! I love my powers! Running. Oh, these guys dropped something Hold too. Right Shut up. These guys have a chance to drop an effervescent. Now I know where they're at. What effervescent can they drop? Let me look real quick. Uh, new Pandaren soldiers. They could drop an SMG. That would be nice if they did that for me now. Still. 
here. So close now. Should be up here. Lieutenant Tetra was last seen somewhere in Helios. That guy would start a pandemic if it meant winning a fight. They're nothing but a bunch of raiders. <laughs> Lieutenant Hoffman. Let me see something. That name seems familiar. Aha! So Lieutenant Hoffman has a chance to drop an effervescent sniper rifle. <clears throat> so if you don't drop it, I could just restart the mission. Oh, see, is he here? Is he on this map? Nope. We have to make our way off this map. Moonshot complete, department. If we missed a moonshot, let's land you among the stars. How can I help today? Hi, yeah. Uh, I ordered a new IMP loader to shrink down my collection of porcelain pickles. I just wanted to get them real small. Anyway, your stupid moonshot delivery leveled my whole freaking house! Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Sorry? Those pickles were irreplaceable! Plus, you know, uh, my house. Now I have to crash at my buddy Connor's place while I wait for my insurance to sort through this whole mess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was that Connor Daniels? Coordinates 33 by minus 93 in the Rust Commons? Uh, yeah? Why? Hey, what the- And lunch break! <laughs> <laughs> These are one of the other bosses that could drop the uh, grenade. Varuk. 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 How do I get out of here? back a little bit, make a left. Alright, go back a little bit, make a left. Is it? I guess it is. That is. Right. Back to here. 
maybe this is how I get to that exclamation point. I couldn't figure out how to get to before. and promised us a backwater station far from any battle theaters got the location of our new post today brass says it's a paradise the planet's name is pandora sounds nice Bad guys, no. Lieutenant Hoffman is hiding out in the research center. He's a wicked shot shooter. So watch your ass. Gotcha. I love my powers. <laughs> How do you get there? Huh? That doesn't make any sense, right? Maybe we gotta keep going. Come down on top of it. Yep. Whee! Tide's turning. Finally some luck. One of my boys found a shiny alien trinket, showed it to the brass. They promised us all promotions and big plots of land. I went back and told the men they couldn't contain themselves. 
Well, we cracked open some rations and had ourselves a good old time. We, we was like a bunch of jabbermon drunk on stock wine hollering in the new day. <laughs> All right, so let's go to this. To find our other quest here. This one. Uh, this way. Oh no! What's happening now? Please! Sacrifice, give me. What the heck? How do you get there now? How do you get there? Oh, now it drops another one. Go figure, right? All that time I was farming it, it never dropped it. Now I fight in there for something else entirely, and there it is. You gotta be kidding me. That's messed up. This one's better though. Let's take it. <laughs> That's messed up. And how do I get to that thing? I don't know how to get there. I guess I'll have to go back again. It's not funny, Hannah. Not funny. Do this again. How did I not find them when I was running through here? That's the weird thing. Like, is there a secret area that I haven't found? Hmm. It should be close to here. Right here somewhere. How do you get there? There's a way to get there. Oh. How do you get there? going this way, see if this is it. Go through here and make a left. Yeah, this is it. Was this open before? This was not open before. There's no way this was open before.
Oh. Goodness. So it looks like he didn't drop it. Yeah, too strong. get it when you turn in the quest or do you get it when you kill the guy let me see the thing here uh, you get a a weapon called the hot mama from him the jacob sniper rifle dropped by lieutenant hoffman let me click on him <clears throat> He is located. Involvement. Mordecai kind of killed him. Kind of Notes. When killed, he will always drop a random shield and his sniper rifle. The sniper rifle can be a droog or the hot mama, while the shield can be a common variant of the fabled tortoise. Lieutenant Hoffman only appears during and after the completion. During and after the completion of the mission BFS. So he can be farmed. So he can be farmed. Now, let's see. It says that he can drop two different things though. Ah, there's the droog. So he dropped the droog and not the uh, other one. So we want to get the right one. So we will quit. And save and quit. And continue. My guess is that this won't work. I think he's still going to be dead. And I'll have to pick up that part. Because... I'll have to probably complete this mission and then farm him to get it. But at least now I'll know where it's at. So let me see where it's at. instead of that door. Yeah, he's still gonna be dead, I bet. Yeah, he's still dead. Alright, so I gotta complete this mission to farm him. Balls as hell. through them. Two things Silence! Shut up!
this quest and then farm him. Yeah, these are gonna make some fine ass weaponry. Give me a sec. <laughs> oh, hell to the yeah. Slab, go give that rifle to Mordecai. Okay. <laughs> this is fun. all about bald hunter it's for your anniversary of getting sober morty i'm proud of you had to get you something to mark the occasion oh thanks man you remember couldn't have done it without talent here makes me want to be like a better guy you know that's right mijo good boy good boy hey thanks brick you're my best non-bird friend no one's ever said that to me before i love you man Love you too, hermano. <laughs> All right, so now what? Turn this in. Talon's gonna be a she's. How do I turn it in? Maybe I'll oh, take over her here. Parts fathoms. Let her fly with her own time. <laughs> has been bugging me to take her off world. I guess I could get away from Pandora for a little while. I figure there's a whole universe out there full of things I haven't punched. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Slab. That was some important stuff right there. And hey, turns out I had some extra parts, so I made you a rifle too. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta attend to my community garden project. Okay. There's another quest here now? Man, they gave a lot of quests in this area. I gotta turn in that Echoes of the Past too. Let's do that. Let's turn that in real quick. Whoa. Here we go. Wasn't I there? Well, I need to go there anyway, so this works out. Two things at once. These guys have a chance to drop one of the items also, so that would be nice if they could do that. Stay still. Oh, is this it? 
Yes, they dropped the SMG. Holy cows. That is so good. All right. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I need to get rid of something now. <laughs> oh my god. What should I get rid of? Trade dog. Mm. What can I get rid of? I'm using this. I don't really need this. Oh, I don't need... Well, I need that. Alright. Um, decisions, decisions. Oh, we could get rid of this. I could get rid of this. Alright, do I have spots now? Yeah, we got one spot. Grab that. Inventory, we'll swap that out for that. Alright, now I need a sniper rifle. Let's see what this shoots like. Oh, nice. It's, the aim gets oh and it ooh that's cool all right now let's keep on we're gonna go find that guy and see if we could get the sniper rifle from him look at this weak ass weapon Here, right? He should be here. There he is. Wow. Ah, he dropped the droog again. You bastard. Let me go turn in that quest and then we'll farm him for that sniper rifle. Almost there. I can't believe this took three days to do, though. This will Another badass challenge. Oh, this opens up now. This is where we die. There was a cave in a couple of days ago. Boys still think a rescue's coming. Didn't have the heart to tell him that cave-in was no accident. A few boys went rabbit already, had to be put down. I'm the only thing keeping the 191 together. Those sackless piss rugs broke their promise. Well, I won't. These men have earned their keep. I'm going to get them their paradise, no matter the cost. It's crazy. It makes Hector a, a good guy in a way. Hector's Paradise. Anything else in here? Nope. Alright, so now we gotta farm that dude. So, let's get out of here. See, now he'll be harder to kill. What's happening now? Uh, no, weak weapon. Oh, he still I'm died pretty free. quick. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. When you get enough badass challenges out of the way, you become Whoa. so powerful. Look, it dropped the stupid grenade again, that son of a gun.
and you get enough of the challenges out of the way. Now I think I'm gonna have to restart this. So I'm gonna quit, save and quit in order to farm this guy. Actually, there probably is something else I should do here. Oops. How am I here? All right, let me, uh, let me do something else real quick. Let's go here, the sanctuary. See if I got room in my storage cabinet to put some things away. Uh, this way. Let's see this thing first. All right. Um, where is it at? There. Here, I think. Yeah, here. Yeah. All right, let's get some stuff put away here. We could put that away. We like that gun. We could put this away. We like that gun. Oh, let me see something. Hey, hey. Okay, yeah. Oh, we want to get rid of this and this and this and this. Now we can put this in here. And this can go in here. Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, that's plenty. Now let's go back. So, what now? Yeah, somebody's got to deal with all those new vaults. Dibs. You can't call dibs on hunting hundreds of vaults. I'm the farm for a sniper rifle. I'm almost there. Almost there. That is lovely. Drop the droog again. Yep, drop the droog again. Give me that. Quit. Save and quit. At least this guy's closer. Curious that they 
drop the thing again. Drug. You don't want to give it. You don't want to give it. That's because I'm not on the third time trying to do this. That's why. The 300th time, rather. After I don't need it anymore, then they'll drop it as much as it needs to be dropped. of a gun, man. Seriously. <sighs> Oops. God, the droog again. I hate you. I hate you.
<laughs> you son of a pain nice. in the neck. Not what I need, you gun. Dang son of a gun. The reaching reminds me of Hal Halo. Yeah. Oh. This is crazy. If I get this achievement, this will only be like if this is the last thing to get for this game, this will only be like the third or fourth game I actually completely finished with achievements in Steam. That said, this is probably the only game that I've ever really wanted it on <laughs> to get all the achievements. Because this is my favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the breathing. <laughs> it sounds like phasmophobia. You walk like 10 feet and you're out of breath. Like so close and yet so far away. Such a pain, you son of a gun. That's actually a decent sniper rifle, though. Like if you don't have a legendary sniper rifle, that one is nice. Really nice. Especially the one with that elemental on it, too. The uh, corrosive 
it's nice against if you end up in opportunity at some point and you gotta fight all those robots. And you'll beat them easy with that sniper rifle, real easy. And if you're mixing matching things, like you hit a robot with slag and then hit them with the corrosive, they're gone. You won't even be able to fight. Enough of you. Gotcha! <laughs> cool! You're done! At least he's close by, not like the other boss that was further away. Nope, this one's got fire on it. What is the name of the sniper rifle? Let me see what it says. The name of the sniper rifle is called... The Hot Mama. <laughs> Hot Mama. I'm waiting for Hot Mama to drop. This reminds me of playing like those... Uh, MMORPGs where you end up fighting a boss over and over and over and over and over again just to get a weapon. This is the same thing. Fighting over and over and over again. Farming a boss just to get one weapon. Another one down! It's not even like something that I'm gonna keep really. I am gonna keep it, but it's only to like give it to my friends who need that challenge completed. There it is, finally. Finally. Now, oh, which weapon is it? This one that I'm going to replace it with. Ta-da! Pain bow! Yeah, it's done! It's done! <laughs> I got it! Alright, finally. Steam achievement knocked out. It says 0.8% of players have this achievement. 0.8% of players have this achievement. And I've unlocked all the achievements for Borderlands 2. Yeah, finally. Jeez. 100% completion. Finally. Oh, look at that. It shoots through the hearts. You ready to pull the trigger? Ooh. Where do you want me? Oof. 
Take the shot, babe. That's cool. It talks when you zoom in. Like what you see. <laughs> Go on. Take a long, hard look. <laughs> you ready to pull the trigger? That's cool. This is definitely a cool weapon. All right. There we have it. All effervescent weapons except for class mod. Very nice. Let's go use this on somebody. That shut him up. This is fun. Like what you see. Come on, show yourself. Oh, I enjoyed that. I'm so happy. Oh, no happy ending, it says. Like when I... Oh wow, I had really good aim even when I'm not aimed in. You really blew them away. Bring these items back to my vault. So that I could save it for other people. Oh no! What happened? I am oh, so sorry. Whoa. Oh, it got so much room to put all this stuff in. Okay, this is good. Uh, but this stuff is in my backpack, right? I have to take it off of inventory. This we'll trade with that. This we'll trade with this. This we'll trade with this. This will trade with... Do I have a legendary sniper? I don't have a legendary sniper. Shoot. Uh, oh, I can do this one. Okay. And this I'll put with the B. 
Đấy. Đó là bằng tiếng. Như thứ ra đó. Đó là chuẩn bị. Absorbs enemy bullets. That's nice. That basically makes you immune to being shot. The height of Terramorphous is ridiculous. All right, we'll do that. A grenade. Sticky lob slag o negative. Homing quasar is nice. And then... I know what that's for. Metal time ten percent. Do that. All right, and now we can go to here. Here, ah, oh, mama. I should put a bunch of these things away. Like I don't need this. Home security is nice. Hang on to this. We can get rid of we can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. All right. That's all we need. Change this real quick. There we go. That's better. That is better. Is that success. All right. That was everything for this. Let's go finish that DLC since we're here.
Come on, dude. this thing at and there's another one somewhere This is good graces. This is so wrong, this game. Said. Oh, I'm just finishing this DLC. This part of the DLC. Where is he at? Let's take another little wackaroni at this. It's almost done. I think this is the last of it. Oh no, there's still another exclamation point. Give this concoction a shot. <laughs> Get it? Shot? Never mind. Just do it. Never mind. Just do it. Uh, open this out. Uh, I think he's still hurt. Well, next? Guess I better quit while I'm ahead. And by that I mean while I've still got a head. Maybe I'm just not cut out for this. No, oh, who was I kidding? Tannis ain't interested in a dummy like me. Maybe it's time I finally get the old medical license reinstated. Yes, hello? I must ask, who has been discarding these utterly magnificent dead specimens? Oh, uh, well, that would be me. <laughs> Hi there, Tannis. Well, hello. <laughs> Time for you to mosey on out, Bald Hunter. I'll take it from here. <laughs> That's funny. Guess this means I'll have less folks to patch up. Sounds good to me. 
Just between us, I'm incredibly lazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. <laughs> so get out of here quick. She's coming over. Leave. She's coming over. This way. Oh, Vaughn again? Okay. Ah, Pandora. A land of freedom, opportunity, and unbelievably high mortality rates. <laughs> hey, Vault Hunter. Got one more favor to ask. I need some advice on how to be the best bandit king I can be. Let's see if anyone has some words of wisdom for me. Maybe start with Moxie? She's got a lot of experience with bandit clans. Okay. Huh? <sighs> Moxie's just dancing it up. Moxie, my girl! <laughs> Do you got any advice for me on running a bandit clan? Sure, Han. The most important thing is knowing when to sweet talk and when to slash someone ear to ear without blinking. Well, that went dark fast. Um, so be a sadistic psychopath. Got it. Well, this has been a thing. Thank you. Anytime, sugar. Why don't you come on by later and have a drink on Moxie? Yeah. Uh, <sighs> sure. <laughs> Definitely we'll do that. Um, oh. Girl. Well, that was interesting and less than helpful. Maybe Ellie has some advice for me. <laughs> All right, Ellie. Ellie's over here. Ellie, how's it hanging? Banging bodacious and sexy as all hell, as per usual. Oh, Ellie, you are just delightful. Don't I know it? Never get tired of hearing it from a chiseled little man like yourself, though. Oh, wink. Did you just wink at me over Echo? <laughs> okay, anyway, you spent some time in a bandit clan, right? What kind of advice would you give an aspiring bandit king? Only thing bandits respect is bullets and killing. And it always helps if you're devastatingly good looking, which you is. Oh, wink. Cool, yeah, you, you winked again on the thing. Well, I'm gonna call it at that. Thanks, Ellie. Anytime, you hard body little snuggle muffin. Being a bandit, it's, it's about freedom. I mean, sure, it's a war zone out there, but it's, it's not all about the killing, is it? Brick leads the slabs, right? Maybe he can help. Where's he at? He's walking around, alright. Brick, you old so-and-so. You've had a lot of experience running a bandit clan, as it were. Care to share some words of wisdom? Hell yeah. We got a sin in the slab. Might even call it our guiding principle. Punch stuff real hard. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, anything, uh, anything else? Or... Nope. That's it. Okay, good talk. Blood ball on Wednesday? Yep. Not the most useful advice I've ever received, but I guess he's got a point. Hmm. Didn't Marcus have like a bandit cult once? Maybe he's got something for me. Marcus. <coughs> Wee. <coughs> hey, Marcus. Penny for your thoughts on leading a bandit clan? Well, I've never turned down a penny. <laughs> Pay Marcus, oh goodness. So, yes, I accidentally became the object of a cult worship once upon a time, and it was pretty great. <laughs> they give me money and guns and everything, but 
The best part was they always died soon after. So I didn't know them anything. <laughs> the lesson here is it's fine for everyone to die as long as it's profitable. Yeah, money, money's good. Bye. Well, this has all been really terrible advice. Uh, and I know we're really scraping the bottom of the barrel on this one, but. Uh, oh let's my see god. If Claptrap has anything to say? You gotta be kidding, not Claptrap. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this, but uh, hey, Claptrap. So you've been on Pandora a long time. Got any advice for a new bandit leader? Do I? Do I? No. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I was expecting some kind of rambling, nonsensical monologue. In that case, you've come to the right place. Uh. There it is. Bandits are superstitious idiots. I would advise you to acquire godlike powers. Legends tell of a secret coven of witches living deep beneath the... Nope, we're done here. Wait, you didn't let me finish. All you need to do is bring 17 lapis lazuli stones, three scalps of your enemies, and... Nope, 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 and nope. Bye, Claptrap. Aww. <laughs> There's a lot of references to D&D in this game after that Tiny Tina DLC from Dragon Keep. I think the real lesson here, you gotta find your own band of truth. You know, maybe what I need is a, is a self-initiation, right? Time to figure out who Vaughn really is. Oh, oh, I love this, a Pandoran walkabout. Oh, but wait. I can't go on a walkabout without my artifact of power. Ugh, I lost it in Helios when we got kicked out. Could you grab it for me? Oh my gosh. Okay. Another quest. went so poorly of course right around the slaughter cooler as doll high command has its bullets in a bunch over the whole pandora situation not a good pr look to have their old settlers organize and rise up like that now i can make preparations for my journey i'm gonna find myself out in that waste <laughs> my overcompensator truth, my bandit king self with my hyperion red bar x 2000s i'm going places wish me luck with you know not dying in the most horrible ways imaginable by the darkest recesses of the human mind 
course it's Hyperion also. All right, so there we have it. We have completed all the achievements in Borderland 2. If you stuck with me through these episodes, I appreciate it. I sincerely do. Thank you for watching. Again, if you are watching on YouTube, you can check me out live on Twitch under the same name as my YouTube. Check me out there, smash that follow button, and see me when I'm on live. Until the next time, we'll see you then.